where there's a podcaster that knew nothing about website development, comes an enemy so elusive, so preposterous. No YouTuber had made a tutorial about it yet. <sighs> now I have crossed Squarespace forum and blog. I've even traversed into the second page of Google search to no avail. And you ask me, what is this ponderment that eludes me so? How do I get my social handles in the header of my website? That is what we're going to do today in this tutorial. Let's lighten up the mood. Oh, hey, how's it going? It's light now. You like that? Phillips Hue sets the mood. Link in description, it's an affiliate link. Can you support me by clicking on it and buying some stuff on Amazon? Let's go ahead and hop into the computer and show you what I've been up to with my website and specifically how to get those social handles up into the right hand corner. At this point, I've set up my social links within Squarespace. What that means is, let's say I wanted to go down here and edit my footer in See how there's nice social links right there? I would hit add and then I would scroll down and hit social links right there. Right here, display icons, connect social links. Right here you can write, uh, you can click on this and then connect your social links. I've already done that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I hit apply and then it will bring up your social links right there. Um, I've already done this, whoop de doo they look nice and neat, really cool. I could do this to any page, any page on my website but I cannot figure out how to do it over here. But I did figure it out. That's that thing where I have to take you along the journey and the process of showing you all the things. Please don't leave this video. I'll show you how to do it. But I just want to show you all the things that I went through in doing it. There's one longer way to do this. It's the harder way to do this, and I don't think it's the right way to do it. You can look up coding and then copy and paste this coding in your settings, go to advanced, code injection and then you can copy and paste something like this right here and then you can go uh to your back over here to pages then in your primary navigation you hit plus then you create a link and then you copy and paste something like this in there then you copy and paste your url it just is like what is going on when you do that like right here i got my social handles up there which is nice and neat, but look how small they are. And then you can do other stuff to like customize their size and all that stuff. But that's not how you do it. It took me like a half a day to figure out even how to code that into my website. Please. I mean, you can do it this way, uh, but I don't recommend it. I was about to leave those there when I discovered that you could go to home design site styles click this up here and oh no what is this header layout scroll what 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 can i can i what was that what was that look at that they're right there all nice and neat sized correctly it just worked how about that squarespace why don't you just let me hit the plus button and add the social links like I can down here because that would be cool. I mean, no knock on Squarespace. I just wish I would have known that earlier. If you're coming to my channel to learn a novice talk about Squarespace and building his own website, then you're in the right place. Please subscribe if you're just into me as a person. I'm much better at uh, video editing tutorials and having conversations with people I'm passionate about their, their craft. I'm passionate about learning so uh, you can subscribe to me for that. Till next episode, live a life of abundance. And if you are a person building a website that hasn't built a website before, let me know what you guys are going through. I don't know if I can help, but there's probably somebody else out there that can if they have watched this video as well. Yeah. Javier Mercedes out. Love you guys.